So in this video, we're covering Windows 10 LTSC. And I gotta tell you right now, uh, it is the best version of Windows. Not an opinion, it just simply is. However, there's a lot of caveats to it. Most people choose this because they want a faster, lighter weight Windows that doesn't constantly change with updates. And LTSC fits that bill. However, again, there's some things that you should know about it. So that's what I'm talking about in this video. I'm going to go over licensing, how much it costs, how to get the licenses. Even as a one-man band, you can do it. And I'll actually show you how to do that and give you links to that. And then also how to properly download and install maybe an evaluation to see maybe if this is for you. And then thirdly, uh, some things you can't do in LTSC or really shouldn't do. If you're going to use your system like this, you probably don't want LTSC. So with all that, let's go ahead and jump into this video. This video is brought to you by Pluralsight. I've used them to learn Citrix Zen app, Windows Server, and Linux administration. Click the link in the description and learn your skill today. So first, let's get some confusing terms out of the way with Windows 10 LTSC or LTSB. You've probably seen these acronyms changed interchangeably. That's because they're the same thing for the most part. Actually, uh, it started out, LTSC didn't exist when Windows 10 came out. It was called LTSB, or Long-Term Servicing Branch is what it was stand, stood for. Uh, 2015 and 2016, it was LTSB. In 2017, Microsoft changed it and rebranded uh, the Long-Term Servicing Branch to Long-Term Servicing Channel hence LTSC. And that's basically why you see both these terms kind of interchange. So please note, if you have one of these licenses, it's probably good for all of it. Uh, just know that that's why you see both of these acronyms. Now let's get into licensing. Now down in the description, I put links to three different resellers of Microsoft. Don't just get on the website and purchase these licenses because guess what? Microsoft licensing is beyond confusing. Being an IT manager and a director for the past 15 years, I can tell you right now, it's really confusing to me still. And guess what? I don't even go through all this thing. I just go to the channel, that reseller, call them up and say, hey, I need a Microsoft licensing specialist. And then I say, okay, this is what I'm doing. These are the licenses I need. They go ahead and give me the agreement and set all of it up for me to where I can just type these numbers in and go. But don't just willy-nilly start buying stuff off CDW or ProVantage. It's not a good plan even if you have a wholesaler account set up. You want to be talking to a human because Microsoft licensing is confusing and I think they do this on purpose. So uh, please know that this is kind of getting into it. Now how much money are you gonna spend well, that just depends. If you're a business or you're buying five or more of these licenses, the license themselves typically run about $300, and these are upgrade licenses, meaning you actually already need to have Windows 10 installed on the machine, typically an OEM install, and then you would do this upgrade license to fully install Windows 10. So please note, this is how you would actually install Windows 10 uh LTSC servicing branch. Let's say you don't need five of these Windows 10 installs for your setup. Most people don't. You can actually do what's called identity manager because all you really need is five cows to establish a volume licensing agreement with Microsoft, hence why I put that other link down there and said 4X because most people just want one license. So you can buy one of the $300 one and then four of these identity managers which run about 10 bucks. So overall, you'll probably be out about 340, 350 uh, for a full legit license. Now, most people in the comment section that recommended me cover this video, which I've always just been like, I don't want to because most people are never going to do this. However, it is the best option. I, I They do have a point. And I got to say, most people pirate it. And when that comes to thing, I'm going to say right now, don't do this. Never, ever use a pirated OS. I don't care if it's Linux. I don't care. Well, Linux is free, so you're an idiot if you pirate that. But if you're using Windows, obviously don't ever use a pirated because most of these have backdoors and viruses that are built into the system when they're 
images are established and then they give them out for free and then you can be used as a botnet or zombie there's a whole bunch of bad things that can happen to you by using pirated os's don't ever ever do this so with that out of the way let's go ahead and move forward know the licensing you're going to lose a couple hours of your life talking on the phone getting this set up getting your legit volume licensing agreement it's nasty they send you you know, about three or four pages uh, to sign this agreement, send it back, you get verified, and then off you go. Yes, you can do it. It's just a pain, but it may be worth it. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead, flip over on the desktop, and start installing LTSC. Now, I'm using the evaluation version here, and I already have a volume license agreement, um, so I don't actually technically need to go out and do all this first step, which is kind of nice. Most people don't already have a volume license agreement like I already do, so I can do sample installs and a lot of other things to get this going. Now, I used to be a TechNEC member before they, I think, discontinued it, and that was kind of nice. You could actually get in, I think around 2015, I actually got a lot of the long-term servicing branches uh, volume license keys from TechNet, but they since discontinued that program. Otherwise, I'd refer you over to that for licensing. But with that, let's go ahead and jump on the desktop and start installing LTSC 2019 Windows 10 and showing you a lot of the differences. Okay, we're going to start our install here. Um, this is your typical LTS install, so we'll go ahead and fly through this. Now, I'm going to speed everything up, so you're not going to sit here watching me install LTSC for 30 minutes. Chose all the default options there for Windows. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward probably 10,000%. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and hit restart. Okay, so we're finally to our install. So let's see if you can notice any differences between the actual setup and that of your pro and home versions. Okay, so then we get signed in with Microsoft. Now this is the 2019 edition. The prior versions, 2016 and 2015, did not have this, which was kind of nice. However, uh, we don't want to do a Microsoft account. Let's say we just want to go domain join instead. And then we'll just say, uh, who's using this? We'll just say, MS ACC sucks. And then a super memorable password, which we're just going to hit enter on this one because we're just going to basically usually just leave this uh, alone. Now, we don't want any activity history. And we'll go ahead and leave all this on. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to run O and O shut up after we get in here, and it's just going to disable all that stuff anyways. All right, so here we go. We have the LTS evaluation. We're on a 90-day trial. Now, the very first thing I want to go ahead and say is this isn't like Home and Pro. If you let that 90 days go, you're not just going to get a crappy watermark. This thing is old school, like Windows 7 and, and even Windows 8 did a little bit when it came to... if. After these 90 days, you'll get a black screen, no wallpaper. It'll say this is not a genuine license, and then it will literally shut down your PC every hour. So every one hour, it'll just shut off after you're, you've gone past your license. So don't think you can use a 90-day evaluation. You need a valid product key. So for first thing. Second thing, look how clean down the here is. You'll notice... There's no Candy Crush. There's no Cortana search. There's no Microsoft Store. This is bare bones. There's no Edge. All these things have been stripped out, and it makes this so much faster. So this is pretty awesome out of the gate. However, with that said, you don't have those things. So there's certain things that just won't work, such as Gears of War 5. It uses the Microsoft Store and you need that functionality to go ahead and activate. 
but this will still run very well for a vast majority of games out there. And you'll see a lot more performance out of an LTSC because there's just a lot less crap in it. So that's why LTSC is so darn powerful. But at the same time, you don't have these other features or features as some people call them. I, I call them bloat, but, uh, you know, teach his own. And also the update cycle is a lot different. Like if we go into our updates and we go into advanced options, you notice there's no advanced field to basically take your updates and delay them because guess what it's doing it automatically there is no feature updates for this thing this is what you get and it'll just stay this way for a very long time and i think it's every two years is its release cycle and then on top of that uh your security updates are a little delayed as well so this is the most stable branch out in existence for windows 10 so you don't have to worry about your updates just firing off at all weird times anymore either which is really really nice so with this um it's pretty much ready to go we can go ahead and get in here a couple things to note as far as its actual hard drive or hardware compatibility um, it does not guarantee the latest and greatest hardware will work sometimes you might have to go back and hunt for drivers and these types of things because it just may not exist right out of the box this doesn't have all that compatibility baked in like the pro and home versions do and likewise certain online only microsoft account type applications such as office 365 also don't really work all that well or not guaranteed to work and support wise i've tried to use a o365 account on here I was successful after some hacking around on it, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'd rather just go to a straight version of Office, install it, whether that's Office 2013, 16, or 19. You know, pick your poison, whatever you got for a license, you can toss that on here for an Office version, and you're not constantly updating it either. So that's really what this is geared towards, and I wanted to just kind of stipulate these things. Do I love this version of Windows 10? Not really. But at the same time, I understand it very well. It's great for business. It's excellent for that. But for gamers and things, it's kind of a mixed bag because there's certain things from Pro and Home that many gamers do use. So, uh, you know, it, I just want to go ahead and throw this out here because so many people say LTSC is the absolute solution for everything. And for some people, it may not be. Well, there you have it. Windows 10 LTSC, one of the best, if not the best, Microsoft Windows versions. Again, be wary. This doesn't come with Cortana. It doesn't come with Microsoft Store. It doesn't come with a lot of that stuff. So if you're doing a lot of games and apps through the Windows Store, this isn't really for you. And if you're installing it using like PowerShell or something of that nature, just use the Pro version. I mean, you're going to blow it up and cause all kinds of issues. It's not worth doing it on LTSC. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. I'm always curious to see how this turns out. Uh, most people, I think, really love LTSC once you get it going, which, in my opinion, it's worth doing, especially if you're going to stay on Windows 10 or you're moving from Windows 7 to Windows 10. It's going to be a lot more enjoyable. You're not going to have all the hassle of the constant updates and a lot of the changing of the system. It's, it's a far more consistent experience. And honestly, I think this is how Windows 10 should have been to the average customer. But Microsoft has gone a completely different direction. So with all that, a big shout out to all my Patreons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.